Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming again. It's been like six to eight months since I actually sat down and filmed a beauty video for you folks. So it's so weird being in front of all my lighting equipment and in front of the camera and just playing with makeup products. Now I know you folks have been seeing beauty videos here on my channel but they are but they all have been pre-filmed. I hope you folks are all staying safe, healthy, and I know these are some really rough times, so let's just stick together, and I hope just having fun with makeup just brings a smile to your face. I know it did to me. It's been so long since I've been this glam, and I'm really just going to my couch or sit down. But today we're gonna kind of just have like a beauty battle of two different makeup brands, but within the same family, Kardashian versus Jenner. On the Kardashian side, we have KKW Beauty. I think this is like her fire collection or some kind of collection launch thing. And then with Kylie Cosmetics, I think this is her Storm collection or Stormy collection or something like that. But I do dive into kind of all the different products and we kind of see what works and what doesn't. And I kind of came up with this look here, which is so pretty and totally goes with the outfit that I'm wearing. Which, if you're loving this outfit, I did make a video over on my vlog channel. If you haven't checked out my vlog channel yet, I do have one. I just recently launched it. So right now I'm kind of going through some trip videos from last year, September, October. And then after we kind of go through that, I have a ton of more recent videos to upload for you folks. And one of them is being making this bleach stained shirt or bleach dyed shirt or whatever you want to call it. It's super fun and it came out really cute. I absolutely love this. I did like two shirts and a jacket and I'm actually wanting to do a more. Yeah, so definitely go check out my vlog channel if you haven't subscribed to that already. But if you want Want to see how I achieve this look right here then just keep on watching. Like I said in the intro today is going to be a battle of makeup brands. KKW Beauty against Kylie Cosmetics. The Kardashian versus Jenner showdown. This is one of Kim's more recent I think launches. I can't remember what the name of this launch was. It was like fire or something like that. She came out with an eyeshadow palette here. This is the So Fire eyeshadow palette. Pretty packaging. There was a lot of controversy here in Hawaii on this eyeshadow palette because of some of the names of her eyeshadows. So this is the palette here. It has a ton of different pretty shades. I am covering up the mirror with her box. But there's some shimmer shades. Some matte shades. It looks like these might be glitter and these are shimmer. I don't know, these are really, 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 really pretty shades here. Love that. And then we have three glosses and three eyeliners. We have them in yellow gold, copper, and rust. So this is yellow gold here. So this is yellow gold. This is copper. Really pretty. And then this is rust. Kind of like a maroony shade, again copper shade, and then yellow gold like its name. I really like when shade names match the color of the actual product itself. And then on the three glosses we have Radiate, Ex Extinguish, and Flammable. So Radiate is... Kind of like just a nice shimmer shade. This is going to be really pretty on top of like a nude or even without any lip product on or maybe just a lip liner. And then this one is Extinguish, a really deep brown. Again, these are all glosses. And then an orange shade for Flammable. I'm not a huge fan of this shade. I don't know if I'd get much wear. I know I'd get a lot of wear of this one here, which is Radiate. So that's the KK Beauty side of all of the makeup products. Now on top of the Kylie Cosmetics side, these are, I, I can't really remember when this came out, but this is not one of her newer collections. It's a little bit more on the older side of the collection, but it's new to me. I've never tried either of these collections. This is my first time playing with these products. But we have a ton from this launch. I think this is like the Stormy launch or Storm launch or something. We have the Kylie Jenner Pressed Powder Highlighters. There's four different shades in here. Cloud Nine, Stratus, Daydream, and Golden Hour. 
This is really cute packaging. The storms. Oh, so, I mean, not the storms, the clouds. <laughs> this is so cute because there's lightning bolts and clouds. Cute. And then these are the four highlighting shades here. Again, I'm using the box to cover up the mirror. That way it doesn't like, my lights is not, whatever. You don't care. Um, but really pretty shades. I don't know if I can get much use of this, but maybe on my eyes or something. But these three here are so pretty. This is going to be a cute topper, like on the highest points of your cheekbone. And then we do have an eyeshadow palette. It's the Eye of the Storm Pressed Powder Palette. Cute. Do you see the lightning balls? This packaging, I have to say, the Kardashian Jenners are bomb at packaging. Like, even this, so cute. So this is the Eye of the Storm eyeshadow palette by Kylie Cosmetics. They don't have a mirror in here, which is shocking to me. I thought most eyeshadow palettes would. But these are some interesting shades. They're not everyday shades, so this is not a palette you can really travel with. But what's nice is that it's a great accent to your other palettes, you know? Really stormy kind of shades, like weather, not her child. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the eyeshadow palette. Then we have a gloss shade, flash. It's like a dual chrome. It seems like that's kind of the theme for this collection. It's kind of like that dual chrome look. Then we have a loose powder. A loose highlighting powder. This is in the shade... None of the shades are on the box. Lightning Bolt. I'm assuming this is like a yellow shade. It's like a gold shade. That's pretty. I don't know if we're going to be able to use all these products. I thought that I was going to be able to use a little bit of everything to kind of create a look, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. This is going to be the gel eyeliner in yellow. That's pretty. I'm not really much of a gel eyeliner type of person. And then we have three lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. They all have different packaging, which is so cute. This one's like clouds. This one has her typical drip, but in the dual chrome packaging. And this one has lightning bolt, similar to her highlighting palette. The first shade is Nova. Ooh, that's a pretty nude. That's really pretty. Can you imagine this with like this over it? Such a cute combo. And they even have lightning bolts imprinted on top of the lipstick. I don't know if you can really see it. And then here's another lipstick. This is in the shade Cosmic. Ooh, a deeper nude. This is really pretty. Like these two together. Stunning. Stunning. Love this. And again, how's the lightning bulb? Cute. Diff I love that it's like different color packaging. It's not like all the same. Like Kim's are all the same. But it's like the same collection, but just different color variations. It's like she had like a set of colors, which was like gray, blue, and yellow. And then she kind of just very, very aided, very aided. Is that a word? She just used a variety, a variation of it throughout all her different products. And then the last one is Nightfall. Oh, wow. That's black. I don't think I'd ever use this. Maybe for some Halloween looks, like this might come in handy. But for everyday use, that's definitely not my type of color. All right, so now that we ran through all of the products, let's go ahead and get started on the look. Now, I'm only going to be focusing this video on utilizing the products that I've mentioned and are from either KKW Beauty or from Kylie Cosmetics. The rest of my face, I'm just going to kind of do off camera. That way we can make the main focus going to be these products. Now, between these two eyeshadow palettes, I'm definitely leaning more towards Kim's. Kim's, for some reason, is just really, really calling my name. Like, these colors, I feel like, match my outfit a little better. But first things first, I do need to prime my eyelids. This is just the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love using a concealer for my eyeshadow primer. So, first diving into the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be taking the shade... Kilauea. It's just like really light shade up top. I'm kind of just going to use that as almost like a setting powder for the for the concealer but mainly concentrating majority of the pigment and the color in the crease but dusting it all over from the outer portion of the crease to the inner. 
I do have to say this shade is darker than my concealer, but it's almost like my skin tone shade. I think because I use such a light concealer shade that it's showing up on the concealer. So I'm just being a little bit more careful. But if you use a normal concealer shade and not one extremely light compared to you, I'm sure you could just use this as an all over set. But because it is a little bit darker than my concealer, I'm just kind of using it carefully and mainly in the crease almost like a transition shade although we will be going over with another shade as a transition but this is kind of just laying down the first transition wow how many times can you say transition in a sentence next i'm going to be taking the shade here this is called crater of hecla and again, just going to apply that into the crease with the same brush. Kind of just deepen up that transition shade a little bit more. I don't really know what look I'm going for today. I'm kind of just playing with it. And I have actually nowhere to go. We are all in a, in a stay-at-home order. I'm sure a lot of places around the world is. Are. Are. But how are you folks? Are you guys staying safe, healthy, keeping busy, trying to? I can't imagine people with kids and having to like educate your kids, entertain your kids, feed your kids, feed your kids not three meals a day. That is crazy. Hats off to you folks. And those people still working essential jobs, thank you. As I was sitting here blending out the color, I just realized that there's this wind noise that you may be hearing. It's like almost like a whistling or like a tapping noise. It's a window here that blows and it's really, really windy right now. So I'm hoping that there's not too much of it or if there is a lot of it, you aren't hearing too much of it or that it bothers you folks, but... Sorry, I chose a really horrible location to film today. I thought this was going to be a good idea because our living room is kind of filled with a ton of stuff right now. And so that's where I normally film, but I can't film there right now. So I'm here. So now that we have those two shades laid, I feel like this would be really pretty if you just popped on like one of the shimmers, which... Hold on, I think we're missing a product. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to mention two other products from the Kylie Cosmetics line. These are the glitter eye shades. Oh, here. This is Twinkle Twinkle and Superstar. Like a pretty nude shade and one's more of like a red rose goldish shade. I feel like this would be so pretty on this look now. It's not that pigmented as you see. Oh, actually it is really pigmented. From my eyes, the center, when you kind of blend it out, it does sheer out. But on camera, it's actually looking really pretty. So that one is Superstar, and then the other one is Twinkle Twinkle. Again, this looks like more like a rose gold shade. Pretty. I just feel like the shimmer is not consistent in every swipe. So we have those two, and then the other two are Violet Moon and Destiny. There's a brown in here that's really pretty. This one is Destiny. Ooh, that's so pretty. I feel like that would be so pretty on just like a smoky eye look. And then that on the lid, kind of like this, if you deepened the browns a little bit more. And then this one is Violet Moon. It almost seems like the applicator is the wrong applicator and it's not picking up product as much, but that's pretty. Those products, but I feel like this would be so pretty if you just pop like a shimmer on and kind of just cut the crease. I feel like that would be so pretty. But because we're trying to test as much of the products as we can, I'm going to do some sh some of that shimmers too. So first I'm going to start with fire and kind of just warm up the look. Add some orange to it. 
and I'm placing it a little bit lower than my crease sheet and kind of all over the lid, but not the inner portions of the lid. We're gonna save that for a shimmer. Oh, this palette is so good. It blends out really, really nicely. And it's pigmented enough, if that makes sense. You know, it doesn't, you don't want anything to be too pigmented because then it's hard to apply. I like where it's pigmented enough and I can continue to build to the pigment that I like. Versus like being bam upon the first swipe. I will say it's getting a little dusty. I don't know if you can see, but I was tapping into that shade a lot that's dusty. This one is getting really dusty. Which again, I personally don't mind at all. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of dust on a shade because all you need to do is You know, and we're good to go. We're back in business. And when I get ready, if you have the opportunity to, I like a close mirror and then a far away mirror. That way you can kind of see what people in the back of the room is going to be seeing you like. But also people who sit in right next to you going to see what you look like, you know. You got to give them to get them both. I hope you folks are still trying to find time to play with makeup and... Right now is the best time to experience experiment because you have you don't have to worry about going anywhere. So if you mess up, girl, you're just staying home. Ain't nobody gonna see you. Next, I'm gonna be taking a more of a condensed brush if I can find one, and taking the shade, the darkest shade here. I think this is. Pele's Curse, I think, if I can re read the shades correctly. And taking a compact brush and just placing that on the outer portions of the eye to kind of just deepen that outer V. Hmm. It's really not deepening. Come on. Come on, shade. Come on. Don't be shy. Put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. I'm liking this eye better than this eye. Does that ever happen to anyone else? I feel like that's the hardest part about makeup is making your eyes look the same. There's the pigment. So like I said, again, you do have to work a bit to get the pigment there, but once it's there, she's there. She is here. Okay, so I don't know what I want to do for the inner portions of the eye. I do have... I have this shimmer shade here. I have this one here. Let's use a little bit of this. This is Volcanic, volcanic Haze. I'm going to just apply a little bit of that on the outer V. Kind of where we applied that darker shade previously, but this one's just going to add a little shimmer to that area too. So, not really much shimmer, but... It's okay. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe we won't do that because I'm liking this matte look. Love that journey for me. I have two here. This one here looks more like a dual chrome. That's not really the look we're going for today. There's this one here. Let's try to swatch it. Does this have a name? I never know off the back, so I'm assuming this means Sweet Storm. And this one's electric. So, Sweet Storm. Celesti Celest Celestial? Let's try to swatch it. It seems, it seems like it's more like a glitter shade than like a pressed glitter shade, then a shimmer shade. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, that is blinding. Yeah, so it's more like a pressed glitter almost than a shimmer, which is kind of cool. Wow, that's really, really pretty. 
Kylie did that, girl. She did that. But I think in the Kim palette, the KKW palette, there's a shade down here, which I think is burnt and bronzed. That shade up here. Oh, the struggle. Or there's also this. There's also this shade in the center of the palette, which is Molten Magma. Yeah, so that's more like a shimmer. It looks like she did a pressed glitter too. It looks like this is more like a pressed glitter and then these are shimmers. Because that one, the Molten... What? Molten Magma is just really, really smooth shimmer. The one right here. So... I think what I'm going to do to use the most shades is apply this one all over the wait this one all over the lid the molten magma apply this one this gold shimmer in the inner tear ducts and then I'm sorry Kylie but Kim is stealing the show today wait I forgot about these though this would be really pretty no that's kind of dark we may need to just do another day where we use all of Kylie because I feel like right now the focus is mainly on Kim. Kim is winning. But again, it could just be my aesthetic or kind of like what's going with my outfit right now, which is why I'm liking it a little bit better. But so we're going to take the Molten Magma on a flat brush and kind of just pack it onto the lid. It's almost like rust. This look is totally going up with my outfit today. Then on the inner, 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 inner portions of my eye, maybe I'll just use my finger. Apply that gold shimmer shade. Yes. All right, so now that we have the eye look pretty much done on the upper portions, I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera because we really don't have much face products here. We do have the highlighting palette from Kylie Cosmetics, so we are gonna use this. We have some eyeliners and then we'll finish up with the lips. I'll be right back. So now I'm back with my face and brows done. I did lose a little bit of the intensity on top of my eyes. So I'm just gonna quickly run through that and just kind of blend out the edges so for the lower lash line i'm going to take the shade here crater of hecla i'm going to first start with that i think i might use that burnt orangey shade as well i want to see if i could just do something with this okay so that wasn't working i'm going to take that burnt orange shade and apply that Yeah, I think that's better. And then taking the deep, deep brown sheet and just applying it on the outer portion, wrapping the upper lid to the lower lid, connecting the two outer parts of the eye. And then I'm going to try and take some of the burnt orange shimmer shade to the lower lash line instead of that gold all right so the eyes are finally done hallelujah let's move on to highlighter highlighter i'm going to be taking like i said the kylie cosmetics highlighting palette and don't know what shade i'm going to be using I think so this is either cloud nine or golden hour I think cloud nine or golden hour I don't know I don't know if you're supposed to like flip it or it's like in the order of it applying but I think I'm gonna take this shade here and apply that ooh, 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 ooh. 
That is a highlight. We are highlighting for the back row. Well, that is pretty. Maybe we should pop some of that on the inner tear duct. Just a little. And now this side too. Ooh, ooh. That is pigmented. I love this highlighter palette. Wow. That's a highlight if I ever seen one on the upper lip. I love highlighting my cupid's bow. The tip of the nose. Send it in. And then the bridge. Maybe a little bit on the brow bone. Upper brow. We are just highlighted. We are glistening and glowing. Love that for me. Um, eyeliner. I'm going to take the KKW Beauty Eyeliner in copper and apply this on the lower lash line. I'm going to do this off camera because I look really ridiculous playing eyeliner. So, BRB. I also apply the yellow gold in the inner portions of the eye because it was looking really pretty. Now for lip, I think I'm going to be taking one of the Kylie ones, the Nude in Nova. I don't have a lip liner, so I just applied it without a lip liner. When it's a new lipstick, you can really shape your lips nicely. Wow, that is creamy. It almost looks like my lips disappeared. So I'm going to take some of the deeper shade. This is Cosmic and apply it on the outer portion of the lip. And then for gloss, I think I'm going to take the KKW Beauty in Radiant. Kind of just apply that on the center of, of the lip. Well, that's pretty. Ooh. Alright, so here is the final look. I think I used the wrong lash. Like, I think these are a little too heavy for the look. And you kind of get, it gets over, it almost overpowers the eyeshadow look. But I was too far into this lash. And I committed too far into it that I could not go back. I hope you folks enjoy this adventure with me. I really, really enjoyed the lipsticks. They were really creamy and pigmented. I definitely will be using that again. This high highlighter palette amazing. Kim's eyeshadow palette, amazing. The lip gloss, now it's good and it looks pretty. I've just had better. Patrick Ta has a really good lip gloss. Fenty Beauty has a good lip gloss. Not that I'm not going to use it again, but I just probably wouldn't purchase it again. Love the eyeliners. Very creamy and pigmented. I didn't get to use a lot of Kylie's products. So unfortunately, it seems like in this particular look, Kim won. And I liked her products a lot. But again, doesn't mean that Kylie's one is bad. It just, I wasn't gravitating towards that right now. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I have more makeup that I need to try, like two other eyeshadow palettes. And maybe we'll just do a full look dedicated to this palette. And I just forced myself to kind of create something with this and utilizing some of the other products that we didn't get to use in this particular video. But again, I hope you folks enjoyed it, enjoyed watching. Please make sure to go check out my vlog channel if you haven't already. Uh, Ready, subscribe to all my social media platforms subscribe to this channel since you're here already and watching this video and until my next video bye